544 happening now. Kristen Chenoweth's Broadway boot camp is about to wrap up in Broken Arrow. We caught up with Kristen at the BA Performing Arts Center and talked about several topics, including the boot camp and the Actors Union strike. How has the eight year anniversary been going for boot camp this year? This year has been really great in a different way. Last year we had cameras in our face because we filmed the docu-series um, for the camp and it looks like it has found its home in a network that I'm not allowed to say yet. This year I wanted to get back to the basics. I wanted to get back to the original idea of what camp was, which is the process of performance, not just focusing on the performance. We brought in everybody three days before to just strictly act, sing, and dance strict with the teachers, no, nothing having to do with performing, just technique and process. Then when camp started technically on Monday, they were ready. They were, they were here, they were here, and they were ready to learn. I talk about this camp every year with y'all, and every year I keep saying it won't get better than this. But this year I say, how can it get better than this? They're so talented. They're so talented. We have 62 kids in camp this year. We turned away quite a few. It's getting more and more competitive. We have 22 states represented and five countries. So we're global. When I look back at the mission statement and what I wanted to do from the very beginning, and I guess I, I hoped I would be standing here being able to talk about it like this, but I'm thrilled to be able to tell you that the kids are getting <laughs> they're, they're way more talented than I am <laughs> and you're able to maybe do more hands-on this year because it's longer it's extended yes. this year yeah I think it's important I, I'm sure that's something that we'll continue to do for, in years to come especially when we have cameras back in our faces again next summer I want them to get to relax they need a they need a second to get to know their surroundings get to know each other it makes for a more relaxed atmosphere because believe me we're getting now close to the performance on saturday the nerves and all that comes anyway so to have a little bit more of a relaxed start is great can you address the sag after a strike and if so what are your thoughts on it right now where it is uh really just kind of getting underway uh, I'm, thank you for asking me about the SAG after strike. I would like to speak on behalf of my union, SAG and AFTRA, and I would like to speak on behalf of actors. Um, I have worked in this industry, the film and television industry, for th almost 30 years. And I'm very disappointed by the entity that is running the show, that they think that actors can be made into robots, that they think they could pay us once and use our likeness and our creativity, and that acting could just be a thing of the past, that background acting could be a thing of the past. So I stand before you today as a proud member of SAG-AFTRA and say I will die trying. I will not support our producers union. I will not support them and what they're saying. We, are, we, we should be listened to, we need to be heard, and the creativity is going to go right out the door if they start having us, you know, be, be robots. It's, it's, it's some Terminator stuff and we're not ready for it because you know what? We always go back to the human quality and the artistic quality. That's why I'm here. That's why I have this theater. And I will stand strong, and if it means I never work in film and television again, then so be it. Tomorrow night, you can catch the end of Camp Show at the Broken Arrow PAC. Admission to the Christie Awards is free. The show starts at 7 p.m. You can get tickets on the Kristen Chenoweth Arts and Education Fund Facebook page. Always great catching up with her.